And it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Unfortunately, it's uh, enough light difference between inside and outside. You can't see the six heifers standing out there in the, below the lot. In the last five minutes, all the cows and calves have come up to the feed barn. If they're not all up yet, they're close to it. And the uh, yearlings came up next to the lower side of the feed barn just to get in a group, I guess. And if you can't hear it, it's flat out dumping. So, that's one reason the twins aren't out yet. Bad enough that the youngest one out there is still, what, just right at two weeks. And it's 50 degrees and raining like hell. So not only is it 50 degrees, so it's kind of warm, but it's 50 degrees, so when it's raining, it gets kind of cold, even though the temperature didn't change. And there's that calf we pulled the other day. Nosing at the water trough. Um, I think it was over in the other maternity pen. I think it was Leaping Lena's calf. He was eating grain with Mama this morning. Number one ain't going to be here again today, so I already fed. If she's not going to be here, I usually get feed and done when I get up, but not when she gets here, so a couple hours earlier. Bad thing is, I walked out here on top of the feeder and I got to get down so I can turn the water on and scare this poor calf. No, nope, didn't scare him, just made him move a little. There you go, Murphy. There's a calf again. And a good mama taking care of her baby like she's supposed to. I gotta get her a little bit of hay. And yeah, hey, you can see outside now from here. The pregnant girls, they've still got, I put six bales in that feeder last night, which they pretty well wiped out six bales the night before fed in the feeder in the barn. So, they got the bulk of their feed overnight. Hopefully still keep some calves coming during the day. Instead of at night, like somebody else over here. But, no, we're just going to control it by when we feed and not by opening and closing a gate. I do still see a cow and calf outside. I don't know if you can see or not. If this thing will zoom in good enough. Let's see. Right there. The others were running. Usually means it's going to be pretty bad for a while, but it's kind of like lightened up a little bit. Plan today is Tom's supposed to be out to put the face protector on the irrigation pump. And then hopefully we can take her down and hook her up and make sure everything's going to work right. Kind of wet to do that now, but oh well. And while he's here, he's going to look at a couple bikes. I think it was Ben Duffin was commenting with me last night. There's my 350. It's an 87 model, I believe. They only did it for like one year. The fuel tank is underneath the seat. It has an electric pump. Nice thing about this was before I got it, this one and uh, Red 300 right there, both came from uh, one of the implement dealers. And the guy with a filbert orchard had them beforehand. Bought them brand new. They used them for spraying suckers and spraying around the orchard. So, you know, they got worked, but not real hard. But they did add on this one, they added a switch right there on the fender for the cooling fan so you can bypass it. And it's, it's a good bike. It ain't let me down yet. But when you go to start it, if you're not careful, it will flood itself out. And then you got to pull the plug and crank her over to run it out. I'm getting wet. And uh, burn the plug off. Then you can usually get it to go. 
tires I think are original. They're about as hard as a concrete floor, but it still works. This one was actually originally mine when we bought them, and uh, 300 was my wife's. And my dad had a hand-me-down. It was my old Big Red, an 84 Big Red that, when it was still a three-wheeler, I think it was number two was on the bike with him, and she turned too sharp coming around the semi-trailer when it was parked in the yard. Rolled him over. Did a good number on Dad's arm. His whole forearm was barked up really good. And I had a... 250 Yamaha <coughs> that had transmission issues so I cut the front end off the Yamaha and cut the front end off the Honda and put them together and made a really nice four-wheeler that worked great until the starter went and you couldn't get the starter parts some of them anyway so dad hijacked my wife's bike it was a really nice bike beforehand he didn't exactly do it any favors, but it still runs. That's actually the one that runs good right now. It has a little hard time starting. I don't know if it's not charging or if the starter's getting bad again, but it still goes. A uh, little Suzuki picked it up for a couple hundred bucks. A friend of mine is coming, supposed to come out today. He we give it to him. He had it for a couple months and got everything working, replaced a couple cables. One of the last things this poor thing did was, uh, number one, had it below the cow lot. And this is after straightening the handlebars up. Broke the brake cable off. Lucky she didn't hurt herself. She knows better than to be riding where she was. She was going on a diagonal down the hill and crossed where the cows walk up and down. And uh, just about got herself hurt. But this is a little 250 and it's got pretty good poop to it. High, low, and medium on it. Reverses up here. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or differential lock. We put a winch on the front of it just because it was four-wheel drive. Winch on the front of mine, too. That one's been used a few times. That one pulled a, oh, a little like a 650 or something John Deere tractor with a little single-axle manure spreader on out of the brush for a guy. Only thing you can get in there, tied her off to a tree, and I thought, God, please don't rip it in half. Um, latest acquisition, it's a 94 300 four-wheel drive, ranch about 40 miles west of us had it, they used it just for spraying and they upgraded and didn't need it anymore and got a pretty good buy on it, oh yeah, the Suzuki, uh, last summer, summer before, at the neighbors, the kids were tipping bales up for me. A couple of them were flat when we were picking up with a bale wagon. And uh, they crossed the ditch out of the field, back onto the road, got it straightened out, and it died. Hasn't run since. We don't know what happened. This one will try to fire, but it won't run. Don't know what happened here either, but this one's got kind of an excuse. And see, it's been a little burnt. They had the wires they had run into the sprayer shorted out at the battery and they almost burnt the bike up. Somebody muddled through and put enough wires together to make it run again. And uh, I took everything apart when we had a little trouble with it. And found that they missed a few wires but wasn't sure where they went because you couldn't tell what color they were anymore. So... But it works. It seems like the charging system doesn't work. But it's always, until it decided not to run, it's been running good. It does need a new head gasket. We did the valve cover gaskets quite a while ago. 
where they run a sprayer with it and it doesn't the fan either didn't turn on or it doesn't have one thought it had one maybe it don't i guess this one don't um just flat got the head too warm and they use a quad ring for gaskets so you know quad rings don't hold up to that much heat so the valve covers gaskets they've been changed it's just the head that hasn't we took a chance on not pulling the head that was a mistake but anyway that's already a 10 minute video and you see how our day is freaking wet <clears throat> and I'm really surprised I don't know if you can see it from here. Ah. They're still out there. The rest of them are literally crammed in the feed barn. I hope they're big enough calves they don't get sick. And if the dog gets out of my way as she decides to walk right in front of me. I just told you about the cow with the abscess. And you didn't get a look at her yesterday, and I don't know if you're going to get a look at her today. Well, she's down there rubbing her head. If she turned her head, you could probably see. Yeah, you can see a little bit. Got a little extra underneath her throat there. It looks better today. She was right up here to eat this morning. She got done eating, went right over and got to drinking. So, fingers crossed, we caught everything in time. Yeah, it's only about half the size it was yesterday. That's a good thing, people. Very good thing. Because I don't want to have a bottle baby. Oh, well. I might put this one up all by itself. We'll see. If I do, hey, hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Ring the bell. And thanks for watching. Oh, I better not miss this one. We have to get Bunny in the picture. Bunny, what are you doing? Say hi, everybody. There you go. Hey, guess what? It's Sunday morning. I took a look at this girl when I fed last night. Keep in mind, I was up above and she was down below. She was way down at that end. But I was broadside the right angle. I could see her utter pretty good. And I looked at her and I said... You're going to have a calf before morning, aren't you? And this is what I find this morning. Don't even know what it is yet, but it's kind of looking like it. Eh, I don't know. I ain't going to speculate. I thought I saw some snowballs there for a minute, but, you know, looking between the legs like this, you see the, see the navel hanging there, too. So, And I was just going to run it right in here, but I think I'll see what we got. Looks like it's a bull calf, but <laughs> my father used to walk in and say, yep, it's a bull, and walk out, and a couple of times the tags were actually made for heifers, or made for bulls, and I only see one hole in the backside. Oh, 832B, it's a good thing I come in here and looked, I thought it was 842, or 440, eh, forget, dyslexic this morning. Okay, so this is the one I was watching a few days ago. I can correct myself. 842, I thought would have a calf this morning also, but I didn't see any others in here. At any rate, hey, look at me. Yeah, I can't remember that number that long. 432B has a big baby bowl. Who's wanting to eat? I'm going to get him marked on the board. Hopefully I remember who it was long enough. Sunday morning, by the way, folks, unless I didn't already say that. I think I did. And, hey, there's the twin boy. That'd be Elmer Fudd. Yeah, Elmer Fudd coming up to say hi. Hey, don't go the other way, girl. Yeah, thinking about which cow this is. She doesn't like to stick around and go where you want her to go. But we'll chase Elmer Fudd now. Got him in the butt. And funny too. There you go. There's the twins. Um, 
I'm hoping it's going to be a decent day today. Sun's up this morning. Not raining like it did half the day yesterday. So, <clears throat> the twins should be able to go out. The exception's going to be the other two. She can't go out yet. It ain't worth it. Keep her in for a little bit. Get some feed into her and get her going better. She's getting skinnier and skinnier. Her lump's gone way down. But she's getting getting skinnier and skinnier because she's having a hard time eating and she's putting everything to that calf. And that calf's growing. It ain't that old, but it's sure growing. And the other one in there, Lena's calf. I think it had a, a little bigger navel, I don't remember. Number one hasn't been here for a few days. I found out at 10 o'clock last night that she wasn't going to be here today. So, yay. Too many things to take two people to do, and number two has too much homework. So, I did something yesterday. Ten minutes worth of babbling. I'm not going to bother putting it on. Because we got a new baby today. And sunshine instead of the rain. Half my ten minutes yesterday, you couldn't hear me. I was in here. And when I reviewed it later, it's like, oh yeah, it was raining. So. Oh, and yesterday. A friend of mine that was going to come out and work on the pump. We got it going. Between the two of us. You know, he's, he knows more about three-phase electrical than I do. Um, got the phase protector on it. And pump going. And he took a peek at bikes quick. Really didn't find anything wrong with this one. Other than the fact that part of the time it don't want to start. It don't want to turn over. With the starter, unless you hit the decompression knob. Uh, this one has absolutely no spark. The Suzuki I know is dead dead because the battery's dead. And I told him about that one. I guess I didn't tell him it needed a muffler. One reason I tell him it needs a muffler is his son. I don't think they're doing anything with the company anymore, but he had blind beagle racing or off-road or something like that. <clears throat> and he was making components for motorcycles and four-wheelers and stuff. I think he was making swing arms and that kind of thing. And he was doing pretty good at it. But, you know, that kind of thing comes and goes. You only sell so many before everybody that wanted them has them. So now he works for Amazon. He's a prototype builder for Amazon and works with engineers who design their stuff that Amazon decides to put their name on. And like Tom said, he's getting paid so much there. There's no reason to do anything with, you know, even think about building more stuff. He's got a warehouse full of stuff anyway, so if they are still doing any orders, I mean, he's got plenty to go for a while. But anyway, that's what I know. And before I forget that cow's number, I'm going to write it down. I'll get you some more. I had to get this for you. Little bunny standing behind the new boy. She was just beside him, sniffing up one side and down the other, and going, come on, dude, let's go play, let's go play. So, there we have it. A couple of the boys playing. I think the one laying down in the corner is the other twin. So it's the other two boys playing. And the new guy going, wait a minute, don't run into me. He says, I haven't been doing this standing thing very long. You expect me to run? And I dipped his navel and gave him some paste about five minutes ago, and he fell down in the process of it. And it took him a little while to get back up. Of course, he wasn't in the best position. And I don't know if you can tell the size difference there. He is bigger than Bunny. Bunny is realistically about the size that we like to see a calf come out. So, you know, since she was two weeks early and preemies take time to catch up usually if they're two weeks early when they're about three weeks old they're about the size they should have come out but anyway there's the new boy working his way up here trying not to get run over in traffic 
and thinking this could be fun if I knew what I was doing. Got that tail out there for balance and his head stretched out for balance. And he's going, now that I'm up here, nobody's here. And his mama is the humped up one, second one from me. But all he knows is, hmm, there's restaurants around here. His mama's got some ugly teats too, torpedo teats. There's one way to help yourself clean. She just stepped on it and backed up. As long as she does it, that's fine. I don't know that that's all of it, but we're going to hope it was. And he goes, oh, sorry, I didn't know you were cleaning house. Well, well, let me out, let me out. So much fun you can have narrating for these little twerps. Okay, I still got to finish feeding. Just because these ladies got theirs and she got her some alfalfa pellets to help her out. Because she needs it. A couple of days of not eating and a calf taking everything they can makes a difference. And of course, Boomer, she's still getting some alfalfa pellets. Help her out with some milk for the twins. And I think I'm going to try to weasel her and the twins out today. If it's not going to be too bad. I'm going to wait a little while, wait till it dries up a little. And I think she's going out right here below the barn with Bam Bam and the yearlings. At least there's two calves out together. And that's where the other two in here I think are supposed to go too. We'll find out. When we're said and done, one bull is going to have 30, and I think they're going to have 25. Something like that. I'd much rather have three of them with 25 or 30. But, hey, as you all know, I don't have room for that. Those days are over unless something drastically changes, like I win the lottery and we move. So I'm going to feed these ladies before they get any matter at me. Snickers just stands there and looks at me and says, you know it's time for my breakfast. You know I'm supposed to have breakfast today. Please, please give me my breakfast. Okay, I'm going to let her have her breakfast.